Hello, I'm Don Mitchell. Welcome back to Disciple, the book that provides you with 60 lessons to gain more than 60 experiences for drawing closer to God and fulfilling more of his calling on your life, a calling that was developed before the creation of the world. Today we'll be looking once again at part two, Live the Gospel, and the third lesson of week one, Love More People. So let's begin by looking at a quote from Jesus uh, that encourages us to love more people, particularly of different kinds. This uh, quote is from Luke chapter 14, verses 12 through 14, as translated in the New King James Version. Then he also said to them who invited him, when you give a dinner or a supper, do not ask your friends, your brothers, your relatives, nor rich neighbors, lest they also invite you back and you be repaid. But when you give a feast, invite the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind, and you will be blessed because they cannot repay you, for you shall be repaid at the resurrection of the just. In these verses, Jesus gave a direction that must have surprised his host, a ruler of the Pharisees who had invited Jesus to dine with him on the Sabbath. Notice the parallels to what Jesus said in Matthew 25, verses 25 through 46, uh, about how he will judge the nations in part by whom they have served. While many parts of the Bible inspire believers to take immediate action, uh, these words uh, in Luke 14, 12 through 14 may not. Just consider someone who might be planning a wedding reception. The expense is often enormous. The guest list has been added to many times, so no feelings will be heard among family and friends. Those who are to be married, as well as those who are paying for the wedding, want everything to be perfect. I cannot recall anyone arranging such an event telling me that she or he wanted to also invite the poor, the maimed, the lame, and the blind to join the festivities. Learning to love more people you do now doesn't happen overnight. In fact, merely providing such a feast wouldn't be a loving thing to do if the motive uh, was to gain future rewards from God. But such openness and loving more people can occur. A change of heart has to take place. The words of Jesus in these verses gives us an indication of what can be a helpful first step. Spend time being kind to people you don't normally get to know. In the process, you may well find these people to be more interesting and lovable than you ever imagined. With a somewhat changed perception of such individuals, you'll be more likely to seek out someone who is different from you the next time there is an opportunity to do so. In addition to becoming acquainted with those you don't normally spend time with, feel free, of course, to meet with more people of the type you already know that you like. Both kinds of outreach are good ways of learning to love more people. Why might such experiences make you more loving? For many people, feeling love for others requires first finding something appealing about them. Let's imagine you had just chosen to spend time with a person whose appearance doesn't appeal to you. In the course of a conversation, this individual might tell you a story about his or her life that you find fascinating, a story that teaches an important lesson that you need to learn. At that moment, the experience may generate an initial spark of love that can grow gradually into the greater love of appreciating such a person as a uniquely uh, created child of God, one with whom God intended you to spend time and to love. Should you do this kind of outreach often enough, you might eventually learn to be curious about God's plan for someone you see for the first time to have an immediate desire to treat her or him as an honored guest at a great event as one excellent way of becoming acquainted. Perhaps then someday you'll host the kind of feast described in Luke 14, verses 12 through 14. Praise God when you do. So let's look at the, how we can ask and answer some questions that will help us to live the gospel by loving more people. Just as your daily travels could either be limited to the interior of your home or instead involve going to many of the same places, choosing to love more people means extending your presence and yourself to do so. 
The following questions should help you to have the desire and commitment to make that effort every day. First, how did you come to love those you love now? Second, how could you repeat those steps to find more people to love? Third, what kinds of people have you never loved? Fourth, how might you develop love for at least one such person? Fifth, what can you do today to start the process of developing love for another person you don't love now? Six, what other ways might you learn to love others? Seven, how can you locate even more of such ways? Eight, what aspects of not loving others do you need to ask God to remove from you? Nine, where can you go now to find a new person you can learn to love and want to serve? Ten, what was that experience like? Eleven, when will you do so again? So thanks for listening to this lesson. I hope it blessed you, and I look forward to speaking to you again in the near future. Goodbye for now. Take care. God bless you.